Today we're going to start developing a brand new Ember.js application. So we're going to use Grunt.js as our application build tool. And then Grunt will assemble and package our, all of our application's resources into single deployable files. And it will also help us along while we are building our application. So we're starting out with a brand new uh, Git repository containing all of our source files. Right now we just have an empty uh, readme markdown file. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out how we would like to structure our projects. Since Grunt.js is a versatile tool uh, that will allow us to choose almost any file structure that we, uh, that we want, uh, we do need a sane structure for our application. Personally, I like to create top-level directories for each of the different uh, different resource types. And that means one folder containing any source code that we write for our application, one folder containing all of the third-party you know, JavaScript libraries, uh, one that contains all of our CSS files, uh, and one that contains all of the handlebars templates. So let's get started by creating a few new folders. I like to put all my source files in a directory called app and all my third party libraries in a lib directory. Uh, and then I generally have a folder called CSS that contains all of um, the style sheets, both the ones that I write myself as well as any third party style sheets that we, the application is going to need. And in addition, uh, we're going to need a templates directory uh, as well as an images uh, directory containing all of our applications images so the next thing we need to do now is uh, uh, to create a, an empty application uh, as well as an index HTML file but before we get there uh, we're going to need a few JavaScript dependencies so I've downloaded uh, all the dependencies that we're going to use. Uh, so these are the latest versions of Ember.js and Ember Data and Handlebars as of uh, today, the 30th of June, 2014. So I'm simply going to drag all of these files into the lib directory, like so. Uh, and I'm going to use WebStorm for my ID. You can use any text editor you like. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you're comfortable using it. So the first thing that we need to do is to create a new index HTML file. So we'll go ahead and create a new HTML file and we'll call it index. So just create a, an empty template. So we'll start off by giving our application a title. For, uh, for this application we'll call it uh, Ember.js screencast app and then we need to add in our um, JavaScript dependencies so we're going to add in these files here starting with uh, jQuery so we'll start creating a new script uh, with the type of text JavaScript we'll uh, set a char set to UDF 8 and then our source is going to be slash lib slash jQuery, like so. I'm going to need three more of these. So next we need to add a handlebars, then Ember.js, then Ember data. So these are all of our dependencies. And uh, so the next thing we need to do is to create create our application uh, as well as add a namespace for the application. So we'll go inside the app directory and create a new JavaScript file. I'm just going to call this app.js. And we need to create a namespace for the application. We can call it app. Uh, I generally like to use more specific names for the app, uh, application namespace. So we'll call it screencast for, for this application. 
this is going to be uh, ember application dot create so this will initialize an ember application and put that application into our screencast uh, namespace so the next thing we need to do is to add this file to our index.html file so we'll just get rid of this source here i'm going to say app slash app.js so at this point we need to bring up a web server to host our application i'm going to use a simple python script but you can use any web server you like, Apache or Nginx, or you can use a river gem called AD, ASDF, uh, or any other web server that you might have or that you like. So I'm going to go into my terminal application, and I'm going to use this Python script here. So it's going to bring up a simple static HTTP server, and it's going to host the directory that I'm in uh, on this port 8088. Okay, check. I'm in currently in my project directory and inside the Ember JS screencast directory. So when I run this script, it's going to host the application on port 8088, which means I can go into my web browser, type in localhost 8088. Nothing's happening on screen, but if we bring up the developer tools, we can see that it's initialized Ember.js, and we can see which versions of Ember.js, Ember data, and handbars and jQuery uh, that the application is using. So in order to bring something up on the screen here, we need to create uh, a template. And by default, Ember.js has created an application template as well as an index template. So just to get started, we're just going to add a simple template into our in index.html file. Uh, that we're going to call application. So back into web store, we're going to go up in our uh, inside our head tag. I'm going to create a new script. The type of this script is going to be text slash x handlebars. This also has the same char set, char set UTF-8. I'm going to give it an ID. And this ID is going to be the name of uh, the template, then um, it's going to tell Ember.js which template this is. So we're going to override the default application template, and then inside here we're just going to put some text. So we're going to say application template. Now we can go back to our browser and refresh. Now you can see that uh, our application template text uh, is rendered onto our website. So we have, I mentioned we have two templates, application and index. An application, uh, the application template is the template that's gonna be the basis for your whole application. And the index template is gonna be the basis of your uh, slash URL, so the top level URL. So let's create a new template called uh, index. I'm just going to say index template up here. Add a simple new line character. So if you go back now and re refresh, nothing really changed. And the reason for this is that we haven't told Ember.js where the application template is going to re render any of its sub templates. So we need to go back into the application template and add a handlebars tag called outlets. And this means that whenever we get here in our application, Ember.js is going to know this is where you want to render any sub templates. And in this case, this is the index template. So if you go back and refresh now, you can see that both templates are rendered onto the screen. So we've completed all the steps necessary to initialize a new Ember application, but we still haven't set up Grunt uh, and any build tools to handle our application. So the next thing we're going to do is set up Grunt to assemble and build our application. 